Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer? Running so I try in this tutorial, I'll show you I can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. So we are going to be learning how you can easily color grade a raw file and how I usually do edit photos when it comes to skin retouching and color grading in Photoshop. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you don't subscribe to this channel. So to open up an image in Photoshop, simply select the image come to open with and I'll choose Photoshop and I'm using Photoshop 2024 so I'll simply I'll reset it to the default so this is how the image looked straight out of camera and it is a raw file taken by Abraham Pictures so what I'll do I'll simply come to the highlights right here and drop the highlights down because I want to regain back the detail in the dress and also take the whites down so I'll slightly open up the shadows and add a tiny bit of contrast to the image and take the blacks down so i simply open up the shadows a little bit more i think this looks okay then i'll simply add some little bit of tint to the image to make the skin tone better and eliminate the greens because oftentimes when you take photos in a greenery environment it tends to affect the skin tones and add that green color cast so to eliminate the color cast, I've taken the tint towards the red, which is the opposite of green. So I think uh, this is okay. So I'll open up the exposure slightly. So basically that is what I've done. So I'll just come to the hue and saturation. Hue is changing a given color to look like a color on top of it or below it. So if at all I'm um, to change the greens, you can see I'm hueing the greens towards the aqua side. And I'll do the same for the yellows to look like the greens, to make the greens in the background pop. So saturation is the intensity of a given color. So I want the blues to be somehow oversaturated and make them have more color. So I'll just come to the blues and increase the saturation. I think that is okay. Then I'll come to the hues and simply take the blues slightly towards the aquas, just like that and by just doing that you can see what we have right now so basically this is the before and after so far so i'll just simply come to open the image to photoshop by clicking on open and it's going to open the image in photoshop so in photoshop what i tend to do first is simply cropping the image so i'll just come right here to my crop tool and crop in the image i think right there is okay and hit enter and after cropping the image, anything is going to be working on the skin. So in order to do skin retouching, I'll simply come to my actions and play my 16-bit frequency separation action and simply hit play. And it's going to stop at the point when I have to determine the amount of skin textures I want to remain within the image. So for such images, I'll take up the radius up to the point when I'm just starting to lose out on the details in the image. So at round 5, that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the details. Remember, a very low radius means less textures and a very high radius means more skin textures at the end of the retouching process. So I've used 5 pixels and I'll select or deselect the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer. So I'll come to my brushes and get the mixer brush tool. So if I told you mixer brush tool is not under the brushes, you can right click here and choose the mixer brush tool. So set it. Hardness at zero and soft round brush has been selected. Make sure clean brush is selected. And make sure you select the second option that is clean the brush after each and every stroke right here. Then with the weight of 9, load 75, mix at 90 and the flow of 100%. I'll simply slightly zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard and start evening out the skin tones. So I'll just come and mix just like that. So to mix basically you hold down, you left click and hold down and you paint a given area to blend the transitions of the skin. So I'll just come and paint just like that. To create a harmonious or even transition within the skin tones so i think this is okay for the first area so for these kinds of full body images i tend not to overdo or 
over edit so mix every area that i feel has an even or inconsistent skin tone transitions i think this is okay looks great and mix in this so i'm basically blending the transitions between uh, the skin tone so that they can be nice and even transitions in the skin tones so come this other area of the hand and also blend or smooth out the transitions i'm using a mr brush tool and i've not zoomed all that in because when you zoom all the way in it means you have more work to do and you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions so to increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool just use the bracket keys on the keyboard so i think we are almost done with the blending process for the mixer brush tool so it is just that easy and quick if at all you practice remember with practice you can retouch better and retouch faster so just turn this back on and i'll zoom out command minus to zoom out so you can see before after before after so get the high frequency layer and get the clone stamp tool for settings Hardness at zero, soft round brush selected, the mode is normal. Opacity in the flat 100%, align is selected and the sample is set to current layer. Zoom into the image, command plus and simply hold down the option key to sample. Option key left click to copy clean skin and paint over the blemish to get rid of it. So you can use it to also remove these fly away hairs from the model's face. So I think... We are almost done removing these skin imperfections. Command minus to zoom out. So right now we are done working on the skin before, after, before, after. So the next thing is going to be creating even skin tone transitions or even color grading. So in order to color grade, basically I use a simple technique. So I'll first of all create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command E on the keyboard. For Windows it is shift alternate control e on the keyboard then come to the adjustments right here so i'll come to the adjustments and create a gradient map adjustment layer so when that is created don't mind if at all yours is displaying a quite different color from mine so what i'll do i'll just come and hide this layer and select the gradient icon so make sure the gradient icon is selected then left click on the color option and it's going to bring up this make sure the sample is set 5 by 5 average and if at all it is showing a plus i this kind of icon press the caps lock on the keyboard and left click on this pointer so just want to copy colors from the skin tone and left click on the color option zoom into the image and simply choose a darkest point of the skin tone and hit ok then come to this pointer click left click once and choose the brightest point of the skin tone and hit ok then we are simply going to come to the middle right here and create a mid-tone color a pointer so i'm just going to put 50 and click on the color option and choose what i feel is the mid-tones of the skin so i think that color is okay for the mid-tones so right now we have mapped the colors from the darkest color to the brightest color hit ok and now what we have to do, we are just going to activate this and change the blend mode from normal to color. And after doing that, simply hide this layer and come and put it in a group. So after putting it in a group, what we have to do, we are going to close the group and come to this layer that we created, the stamp visible layer. Just come right here to select and come to subject so that we can make a selection on the subject. Remember, we only want the color grading to affect the subject and not her outfit so come to the quick selection tools and simply make sure the quick selection tool is selected and this minus option is selected so after doing that you can simply left click and paint away from the areas you don't want to be affected by the color grading so we just want only a skin to be selected so click away just like that and click out from the outfit and I think that is a fair selection. I'll just click away. So after doing that, hold down the option key on the keyboard and click.
click on the layer mask right there and it's going to create a layer mask for your skin tone so after doing that hold down the shift key on the keyboard and drag it and place it on the group layer for the color grading so open this once again and now activate the color grading layer and by just doing that you can notice that it has created even skin tones but it is still affecting other areas of the model if at all we are to zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus so to refine this better simply click on the layer mask and get the brush tool make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so to, to switch between black and white or to reset if at all you have any other random color right here press d on the keyboard so to switch between black and white you can use x on the keyboard or use this arrow and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected and mode is normal or pass at 100 percent flat 100 percent so make sure rather we have black as the foreground color because black is going to erase or rub away the color grading so just paint using our brush or the black brush to perfect or fine tune uh, the color grading to only appear on the skin of uh, the model so just do that and eliminate it from the hair you can zoom into the image by using ctrl plus and erase it from the eyes or even the nose area so this is how basically i do the color grading nice easily and faster so i have to eliminate it from the eyebrows just like that so i'm painting using a black brush so to paint back a given color grading you can switch it back to white and it's going to paint back the colors in those areas that we want to paint the color grading onto so so for now i'm painting using a black brush to hide away the color grading from those areas so i'll come and also el eliminate it from that area of the dress so zoom in to be precise enough and take your time as you're painting just like that so paint back color switch the brush to white and you can paint back the colors so i think we are almost done i'm just going to paint it away from there using a black and also eliminate the color from the watch or even the nails if at all you don't want to change the nail color so right now we are done color grading the image so let me just first of all correct this area so and eliminate it from that string and also from these areas just like that and paint back color grading to these areas so right now we are done color grading the skin and you can see how even it is so before after before after so I'll just come the opacity and reduce on the opacity if at all the effect is too much for our liking so after doing that the next thing i tend to do is simply coming right here and creating a selective color adjustment layer come to the blacks and simply intensify the blacks and cool down the blacks just like that and take the science just like that so before after before after so it is applying the color grading in the group so i'll just place it over the group so i'll just take it out of the group so you can see before after before after what it has been doing so come once again and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and select the reds and simply take down the lightness and come to the eyes and whiten them so just come to your saturation take this down to our negative 70 under master press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard and just erase the color grading using so I'll just come and erase the color grading from or rather and whiten the eyes so i 
I think this is okay and it looks great. So let me show you a quick before and after for the color grading process. So this is the image before, after, before, after. So anything is saving the image. So to save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export as, and choose the format to JPEG right there and simply quality high. And after doing that, just come here and make sure you select convert srgb and also embed color profile and simply hit export so this is how you can easily edit a photo in photoshop from the very start to the very end and if i told you i've enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating